Lionel himself is not only a great runner and who can play tailback or fullback, but he's also a devastating blocker. He's also a very interesting young man, as you'll find out in just a moment. But watch his moves. When Lionel gets through, he has really got some speed. He can cut. He can hit hard. He can do anything that is asked of him at any time, any place. Jim Lampley talked with Rob Lytle just a little bit earlier, and here's their conversation. Rob, there has to be a sort of inherent frustration having been here for the past few years at Michigan. The record is so good, win after win, yet no Rose Bowl. So many times you've been ranked in the top two or three, and yet no national championship. As you come down to these last few games, do you think about the disappointments of the past? Well, I'll tell you, it's been four frustrating years for me, and this is my last chance, and I think all the players realize, you know, who played last year realize what it was. To, you know, I mean, they worked hard all year, and then to come down to the last game, you know, what happened uh, last year. So uh, everybody is, you know, fired up for every game this year, and, you know, we just, uh, you know, I don't know what would happen if we'd lost the game this year. For that reason, I guess it would mean more to players here to be ranked number one week after week than it might somewhere else. Oh, I definitely believe it does because I'll tell you, I, you know, some of the weaker teams may we played in the years past, we wouldn't be as up for. But this year, since we've been, I think, ranked and we know we have this, this national championship within our grass, everybody seems to be really fired up for each game. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Is this the best team you've played on here? I wouldn't say it is the best team. It's probably the most diversified team I played on. They can, uh, we can pass, we can run, and uh, and our option option plays are wide open. So uh, you know, there's no way a defense can key on just one person. What about the record? How will you feel about becoming the all-time leading ground gainer in a school that's produced so many great football names? Well, I'll tell you, that's, that's going to be a big thrill for me. Uh, I, you know, it's something that's always been in the back of my mind, even when I was recruited. Both said. Well, I'd have a shot at that. He says he felt that, you know, I'd have the capabilities of doing that. So, you know, it's been something in the back of my mind since, you know, ever since I've been here. But still, this uh, team effort is the most important thing. And, and I feel that, you know, so once we win, you know, everything, then that'll be just icing on the cake. Rob, you're not big enough to run over a lot of tacklers. <laughs> what are your strengths as a runner? My strength as a runner is probably my offensive line. Because what they do is... You know, they're quick and, and, and they're big and they're powerful and they, uh, they open up these little creases for me and uh, that's all I, you know, that's all I need because I feel that I'm quick enough to get into the crease and get away from those big defense and then so I don't really maybe take the punishment that uh, most uh, bigger fullbacks would take. What's in the future for Rob like professional football? Well, if that, you know, if that comes about, then I'd like to give that a try, but if it doesn't, then... Uh, I'd like to go back home and uh, I work with my dad. And you'd like to go back home and say you won a national championship in Michigan? Oh, I sure would. <laughs> that would be, that'd be just great. That's just icing on the cake because that's something we've been striving for for four years and I hope we can do it my senior year.